hello everyone welcome to this second tutorial about drone ci and in this tutorial we're going to learn about how to set up a drone runner and which will be an agent of a drone ci server which communicate with drone ci server and run our pipeline so there are different types of runner in the drone ci the, uh, for example docker runner sss runner uh, kubernetes runner exec runners and all there are many there are up to six i think there are six runner but in this video i'm going to cover up mainly two runners that i have i have been using in, in my job so it's our docker runner and an sss runner so uh, i will show you how to set up a docker runner and our sss runner so let's get started so first of all here so this is an blog i have written uh, about how to set up a docker runner and ss runner for drone ci server so i will give the link of the, this vlog in the description below so that you it, it will be easy for you guys to see the text format of the tutorial so yeah and yeah first of all let's go to set up how to set up a docker runner for our drone ci uh, in our Linux, so I'm covering this in the Linux because it I'm very compatible to work in Linux, and I hope you guys are also if you guys are a developer or a, a, a system administrator or a, or DevOps or or any IT profession, uh, Linux is is most popular operating system. So and it is easy to use than uh, Windows and um, and other as well. And Mac is also. A, Mac is also uh, compatible with all the com in with Linux. All the commands of Linux is compatible with the Mac, so it is, there won't be any problem. So here, uh, for setup a Docker runner, what you have to do is that uh, you have to pull this Docker image, Docker runner, drone runner Docker, and you have to run this command, and and you have to verify if the if the, the runner is connected to the server or not so first of all what you have to do is that you have to pull the docker image and after pulling that docker image you have to run this command so uh, here uh, what this command says is that in the env the rpc port it is https and you can use http as well rpc host this is the host name of your drone server uh, which is in my case which is drone in my case which is uh, uh it in my case which is drone drone server.com and after that in this uh, rpc secret this is the secret that we have stored uh that we have stored in the last time uh, using the uh, which we have created so let me show you that as well so let me open this in next tab so yes this is the secret that we have generated and we i i told you guys to keep this in the safely in some place so this is the secret uh we need while executing our runner as well so here you you need to keep an rpc secret and you need to give the runner capacity that is up to two and according to your server ram and room ram and uh, your ssds and capacities and then on the host name you can give the host name of a server and you can give the default host name as well and it will be running in a port 80 port 3000 and we give the name its runner and it will be executed with that with this image that we have generated and we'll check whether this is uh, whether the runner is uh, connected to our server or not so yeah let's go to the server so this is this open to server uh, in aws that i have created for drone ci uh, if you have not seen the previous video about how to set up a drone ci server so please go and watch that video i will give you the link uh, which will be popping around somewhere up uh, and i will give the link in the description below as well so this is the server uh, this is the drone ci server open to server for drone ci where i have i think the server is dead 
uh, I will close this and I will run I will run this come on so I hope font is visible to you guys and ls so this is an server and here we have a drone server already set up and we have a drone uh, docker docker runner also set up so i have set up this docker runner as it is uh, that i have said to you guys just a minute ago and now we have to check whether the docker runner is connected to the docker server or not so here the name is runner so you just need to type docker docker ps no docker logs and the name of the name of the container or you can give the id of a container so control cv control c no control c c control shift v and you when you keep enter so it it says the doc container is running in 3000 port inside and outside it is running 3000 in the host and it is running which is proxying to 3000 inside the container and well, which is connected to the server so yeah it says this a ping successfully ping to the remote server and this server is this container and it has capacity of two and the endpoint is a drone.taken.com.np and the kind is pipeline and operating system is OL, linux and type is docker so this is how we set up a docker pipeline for drone ci now i will show you how to set up a SSS pipeline for a drone CI. So, for SSS pipeline, we uh, it is as same as a Docker pipeline. You just need to uh, you just need to pull this Docker image SSS runner on drone hyphen runner hyphen SSS, and after that, you have to run this command. This command. So, to run after you run this command, so here portal can be http and https i'm using http for now i can give the drone rpc host this is the, the host name that is uh, in my case the domain name of your uh, of your server where you are going to deploy your application and and in this rpc secret this is a secret file the secret that we have generated and uh, that i have shown you just a, a few minutes back uh during during uh, this creating our uh, drone ci server and it will be running in a 3000 port and three inside and outside so uh, it, uh, in this case since we have already run our docker container in a 3000 port in a host this is the port of a host and this is a post of a docker container so since we have already run our docker content docker runner in 3000 port so we won't be able to run uh, this SSH container in 3000 port so we need to uh, change the port uh, you can change into 3001 uh, outside in the host and it will be proxying to the 3000 inside the docker container so name we will give a runner instead of a runner it is also used so you can use SSH runner and this is the uh, image that will be used to uh, up our container so and we will check whether the container is whether the SSH runner container is pinging with the server is connected to the server or not so let's go here and so here i will show you so here so this is my docker server and this is my docker runner and this is my SSH runner so this is a docker runner that i have configured soon you how to configure just a minute ago i have done it in a two ago up to uh, two weeks uh, two weeks ago and now i will show you how to do uh, this ss runner you have to just pull the image and just run that command and replace everything that i have told you respectively and after you run that command and you will see this container will be up it is running in 3001 port in the host and it is proxying to 3000 port inside the docker container and uh, yeah now let's check whether the uh, this ssh container ssh runner is pinging to our is connected is successfully connected to our uh, drone ci server or not so let's go and check this 
first uh, go to uh, let's uh, see the logs docker logs and the name or the container id so yeah so it says it's the server is running in 3000 and successfully ping the remote server the capacity is up to 10 and its endpoint is drone.takentechnology.com.np the type is kind is pipeline and type is ssh so this is it so it is as simple as it is guys to set up our drone ci server and the drone ci runner whether it is docker runner or ssh pipeline runner so you can also set up all the different types of runners such as kubectl runner kubernetes runner exec runner digital ocean runner so all these uh, you can go to the official docs of and drone ci so uh, that's it for now and in this video in this video and if you like this video keep give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new